2017 sucked, and you know why? Because gaming is horrible. This is my top worst game of 2017. Ah! <sighs> okay, that was a weird intro. But I'm still mad because... I'm usually not a guy to hate on certain games. I love a lot of games, and 26, 2017 was a great year for video games in general. It was not a good year in every other aspect, but gaming-wise, it was a pretty good year. But with all the great games that came out in 2017, there's also the bad ones. And here is my least favorite game of 2017. And a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but I don't care. Because it is this is my opinion, and my opinion, a lot of you guys want to tell me why I'm wrong, put in the comments down below why I'm wrong and why this game is my least favorite game of all time. Let's just go right into it. My least favorite game of 2017 is Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm waiting for all the hate. <laughs> Man, I just lost so many subscribers right now, I can just feel it. But anyway, why is Star Wars Battlefront 2 my least favorite game of 2017, you're asking? Because it did absolutely nothing for the gaming franchise. It's done nothing. Pokemon gave us a difficulty spike. Mario Odyssey gave us a new game. Breath of the Wild made people cry. Well, it made me cry, but that's besides the point. Yo-Kai Watch happened. <laughs> I don't know. It was a great year, I guess, and I guess there was a new Call of Duty game. Did anybody actually play it? I don't know. Was did, did Titanfall 2 come out this year? Destiny 2 came out. That happened. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what happens in the other spans of universes and the other games. I don't, I don't know, but all I'm saying is that Battlefront 2 sucked. Here's why it sucks. Because gameplay-wise, it's... Exactly the same. They didn't add any new gameplay or anything. They added jetpacks. I, I guess they improved on the flying because the flying sucked already. But I played the game, and it sucks again. It's it's not it's not good. The flying sucks. It it, it just sucks. And but let's talk about what they fixed. They added in the Clone Wars, but why couldn't they have just done it in the old Battlefront? And what what did they even add? Like, th they got rid of the good stuff that was in the old game. Like, character customization. In the old Star Wars Battlefront game, or at least the first one, or, or at least the first new one, they added, you could customize your own character, kind of. They had limitations, but they could still do it. And all I wanted was to create my own clone. But when I found I couldn't do that, I was super sad. And that's kind of why I decided not to buy the game. My friend Jackson hate me for making this video because he loved Battlefront 2 and it's one of his favorite games, I think. But I hate it. Um, what else can I say about that game? Oh yeah, first of all, the Battlefront 2 thing, I, I hate it. I, I, I hate the name. In my mind, when you make a game, you give it a title. If you make a sequel, you give it the, the sequel title. Like, like Star, for example, Star Wars Battlefront. You called that game Star Wars Battlefront. Hold on a second, I'm actually gonna go get the game. Stupid light. Okay, I'm back, I found the game. Okay, so, here. Battlefront. This is Star Wars Battlefront. This is the original Star Wars Battlefront game. It's really good! And then you have Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's really good! And they added so much to it, and they made the, they made it better! And then Star Wars Battlefront 3 came out, and it wasn't called Battlefront 3. That's a big thing I had about games nowadays. I understand you want to get new people into the game, and you want to add in new players, like... Like people's children that were little kids and couldn't play the game, and then they grew up and now they can play the game, but I don't care. When you come out with a new game in the franchise, just call it Battlefront 3. That's the in this new game, when people say Star Wars Battlefront 2, I'm like, oh, do you mean the original or do you mean Star Wars Battlefront 4? Like, I call it Battlefront 4 because I hate the whole sequel aspect about games are doing nowadays. I'm out of breath because I ran all the way over there and I ran all the way back over here really fast and I lost my breath. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> But anyway, well, what else do I don't like about it? Oh, um, I mean the graphics are fine, I guess. I mean, 
I don't know, I mean, the frame rate drops every so often, and that takes away from the game. And also, I just don't feel like I'm involved in the Star Wars universe. In the original Star Wars Battlefront games, like these two, you know, the good ones, I felt invested, and I, I didn't even play the story mode. I just played instant action, and I had so much fun. Like, I had more fun in instant action than I did playing online with other games, and that's another thing I hate about it. I was talking to my friend Harry, because we recorded a lot of stuff over the channel, over this, over the past couple days, me and Harry have recorded a lot of stuff for this channel, and he and I went on a rant about couch gaming. It, or, or my, or he calls it couch gaming, I call it just local play. Local play is the greatest thing of all time. You can just, you and a friend sit on the same couch, in the same room, in the same house, in the same neighborhood, in the same street, on, or, well, street, then neighborhood, in the same city, in the same province. I don't know how, where I'm going with that, but anyway, you're right next to each other, and that's what I like about games. You, you're with your friends at that time. I hate playing online, and I know that's a stupid thing to say that I'm blaming Battlefront 2 for not having, like, a dual screen or, like, something like that, but I am. It would have been easy just add in a local play, and also... They don't have instant action. Th that's all I wanted. See, I was debating whether or not to buy Battlefront 2, or, or, sorry, Battlefront 4. And the reason why I didn't buy it is because no instant action, no character customization, and just, they just didn't have what I was looking for in a game. I understand that I, I maybe I ask a little bit too much for games at some point. I'm willing to understand that. I, I get it. I, sometimes I do ask for a little bit more than some games can give me. But... I at least want them to give me what I want. So the big thing about Battlefront 2 and also it's going to be very forgettable. The the Star Wars Battlefront games, I don't even know if any of them have left on a big impact in the gaming universe or the gaming franchise in general. Maybe the second one, maybe the original first and second one have, but not the new ones. In my opinion, with these new kind of multiplayer shooter games kind of like Titanfall, Titanfall 2, Destiny, Destiny 2, once the sequel comes out, the games are irrelevant at that point. The first games, there's no point for them because people are just going to buy the new one. And the servers are, are done at that point. With Titanfall, especially. My brother got that game. He played it for one month. And then he got rid of it because servers were down all the time. He couldn't find a match. It all could have been fixed if there was a local play. That's all I'm saying. So... Re replayability wise these games are just there's nothing there for replayability wise you can't replay the game there's basically no story and apparently the story is kind of good in battlefront 4 i don't exactly know what it is my friends keep talking about it it's whatever i don't care i don't care about the story in a star wars game just give me a character make me somewhat invested in them by just giving them a name or something like that, or just talking to me, and then give me a blaster, and then put me on the battlefield. That's all you have to do. I felt more invested in the original Battlefront 2 than I ever did in, battle in any other Battlefront, because I felt like I was an actual clone in the Republic blasting droids, and that felt really good, and no other Battlefront besides the two original ones have given me that feeling. What else is there to say about Battlefront 4 besides it sucks, in my opinion? A lot of people are going to hate me for this video, and do I really care? Kind of, because I don't want to make people mad, but also, it is my opinion, and if you guys hate me, just, just I don't know, just say you do, um, I don't know. But, that's all I have to say. Um, this is the reason why I don't like the game so much. Replayability-wise, there's none there. I'm just, I'm just, re I'm just re-saying everything so you guys know what I'm talking about. Replayability, in my opinion, there's none. Character customization, none. Investment in a game, I feel like I'm not in the universe. Personally, this is all personal, guys. This, this isn't, this isn't directed at anybody but myself. I'm saying what's wrong with. I'm saying what I think is personally wrong with the game. What they can do better, first of all. If they make another Battlefront game, just call it Battlefront 5. Just give it instant action. And give my... All I want in this game is calling it by the actual title. So Battlefront 4 and 3. 
instant action. Just let me go around each map and then just like let me fight 250 random computers or bots or whatever you people call them nowadays. I, I don't care. And then just, I don't know, just let me have fun. I'm not having fun in the other games. I find them boring and you have to wait for a server and multi I, I hate online gaming I, I absolutely hate online gaming I find it boring and repetitive and not fun so with that being said I give Battlefront 2 well I'm not even reviewing this game no I'm just saying it sucks I'm saying Battlefront 4 or Battlefront 2 it sucks in my opinion that's why it is my least favorite game of 2017. I thought there was too much hype around it, and in about a month or so, the servers on the game are probably, or by the end of 2018, no one's going to remember this game. It, it, it's just not memorable. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a like, a share, a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't. Today's question of the day is, what was your least favorite game of 2017? Mine was Star Wars Battlefront 4. I'm calling it Battlefront 4 because that's what it is to me. Today's shout out of the day goes to my friend Jack, because I know he's going to hate me for it. <laughs> and I cannot wait for him to see this video and for him to hate me. So as always, his stuff will be at the end of the video. And my stuff will be at the end of the video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. And I really hope 2018 is better than 2017. Crossing my fingers, guys. Crossing my fingers. Not only for the gaming franchise, but also for myself. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. And please don't hate me that much for making this video. Hope I hope you guys didn't unsubscribe just because I made this funny little video. Th this video is a joke, but I am serious. Uh, whatever, you guys, I don't care. I'll see you guys later.